Hi, my name's Gary. This morning I was looking for a how-to video on how to add scrolling titles or scrolling text to my VSDC video editor. I wanted to make a intro like everyone else does for a movie. And there was nothing out there, so I had to figure it out for myself. So I thought I would make a little video here that shows you how I did it so that maybe you could do it yourself. First of all we open VSDC and we come to our normal page here as you can see and we're going to choose from there new project. In our new project we're going to give our project a name and for this one we'll call it screen title scroll seems to work for me and have a look around make sure everything else is the way we want it and then we're done come up to this screen don't want it hit the X away it goes and we've just got our basic screen here and now we're going to go over here and we're going to add an image select an image that you want to have for your background and open. Now we're going to go from the start position and we want this to be 10 seconds long so we're going to change it to from 5 seconds to 10 seconds duration and here we have it right so when you get up on your image you notice it moves so you just leave it and go to set same size and then click in the grey area everything's done. Now we're going to add some text. So we create a text object from cursor. Again we've got the screen. Don't play around with it too much. It's going to run for the full 10 seconds and we're going to leave it there. OK. Now the reason we left it there is because we want it to run from start to finish. So now we're going to select an area, and this is a title, so we want it big, well, let's make it big. And we've got enter text. We put in what we want it to say, and we go OK and our text will change on the screen to welcome. It doesn't stand out very much, does it? So, let's go over here and have a look at text colour. Pick something just a little brighter. Here we go. It still doesn't really stand out, does it? You hit the preview button, nothing spectacular. So let's have a look over here, text font. Click on the three dots, and as you can see, we can now choose different fonts. So, let's choose 72, and it's a bit bigger. What at the preview? Yeah, it's still not standing out. So, let's, let's go back in there again. I'll have another look. You can see 72 is the biggest. So click on 72 up here and tell it 150. Hit the OK button. Now we're cooking. We've got something that's actually visible on our screen. It stands out. You can read that. And it's not going to matter if it's a small screen or a big screen. You're going to be able to read what's happening. So now we're looking at what we're going to do here and we're going to do four. So we need to move this down to about two and a half seconds. You can see on the timeline, it's relatively easy to do. When you let go of it, over on the right hand side, you will see the duration. And the duration here is 2.7. So we slide it down a little bit, and we've got 2.6. 
you can see where the cursor is saying 2.6 there and so we're going to slide it down a little bit more a little bit more no, we still haven't quite got it 2.4 well it's 2.433 it's close enough to 2.5 that'll do us so now we're going to hit the preview here we go and as you can see it came and it went this time it doesn't stay there for the entire duration so now we need to do something a little bit clever with it because we really want it to not just sit there now what we're going to do is we're going to go down to the bottom of the screen in the bottom right corner and find the little slider there and it's a zoom and we're going to zoom it negative so now we see our screen and our text and we're going to drag our text down below the screen once it's down there you might want to trim it up a little bit you'll notice when you're playing with this that you have issues if you trim it up too much or if it's sitting below the screen it'll get cut off at the bottom for instance so now we've done this now we need to go and select our text now notice that the main screen is empty nothing selected up here now we're just working down here and we're going to go up to the editor and we're going to add an object the only object we can add is movement so we're going to add movement and that's exactly what we want to do to object end and this is why we set the full length earlier so now we have a little dot here we grab our little dot click on it and drag it up to the top of the screen you get a nice line there so you can see you can move this any way you wanted now when we hit the preview the good stuff starts happening okay so that still leaves us with a whole lot of blank screen and it took a while to do that but the rest again going to get really really quick we click on our text after we've clicked back to scene one right click choose copy click on the text line and paste a new row of text appears click on that one right click and paste and a new row appears and we do the same again paste so now we've got them all sitting over the top of each other and it's not exactly pretty but it'll work so we take one and we slide it across to the end we move the next one across to the beginning of that and then we do the last one notice that because of the size they're a little bit smaller less than two and a half seconds so we have to tidy them up a little bit and there you go so now if we preview we have welcome 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 and welcome not exactly what we want to say but that was pretty quick so now we click on text 2 come over to the text where it says welcome and we're just going to type what we want there 2 ok text 3 back to your text box three dots change to what you want ok and text 4 same thing just click the dots bring up your box type what you want and hit the ok button now we hit the preview and what we have here is welcome to NV Mobility. Things you need to think about while you're actually doing this is when you save this project, this is where you start from next time. You can open this project, delete the background picture, add another new picture, add more of the text boxes, and add more words. Make it longer, make it shorter, do whatever you like just remember work smarter now here when we go to save the picture for some reason 
nothing's live until you change the name but you don't have to change the name because you gave it a name at the start with so you just bring up the box click on save and then we can go back to export project and everything's live AVI most people do click convert files and away we go and it shows you in the little box that it's actually doing it while it's happening and in no time you've got your video saved so I hope this has given you some ideas for where to start because once you've actually figured this part of it out the options are limitless